Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to Pillow Talk with Alex, Luna, and Jessica. Oh, my. Things are about to get sexy. Okay, so this, this is, is the a first... JRPG. Gotta go into the panty drawer. There are a lot of cute clothes in here. Jessica has a keen fashion sense. I'm really surprised that it didn't go dirty. I, I'm, I'm actually honestly surprised, given how vaguely gestures at the entire game up until this point. The rest of the game is. What? Are you trying to say that this game is sexist or uh, sexual in any way? I don't see it. <laughs> Much like Jessica, it's pure and innocent. Yeah! <laughs> in every way that in you can think of. In every way. This is, this is a game meant for children. Yes. <laughs> why is Jessica acting so strangely? Is she feeling alright? Did she go to Vane recently? <laughs> is that why she invited us into her bedroom? Where are you going, Alex? Did you hear a word Jessica said? Nope. Here's my room, guys. Relax. Take a load off. Take off your clothes. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say no, but are you feeling okay? I'm not, I don't even wear clothes. <laughs> One second, you, you're, you're, you, you're, the next you're completely different. Yes, I feel fine, Mal. You don't get it, do you? You totally don't get it. You don't get it. Just keep talking, you're it's, right. No, why? Okay. Because you I. Of course I remember you. I just couldn't say anything from my dad. Why not, Jessica? My father always tells me how much I need to remind, how much I remind him of my mom. If he knew what I was really like, him, oh, he'd, 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 and that I was sneaking out of the shrine to go on my own adventures, he'd freak out, and I'd be grounded until I was, like, 50. She totally doesn't know how much freaky se sex I've been having with Kyle, too. We're talking, like, a lot of sex. Like, like barbarian. He's a barbarian. Like, the like the only reason the demon still exists in the Anzibari is because I've been distracting him from his duties. Yep. How do you stand it? I can never keep my true self hidden away. Not from someone who cared for me as much as your father cares for you. I totally understand you not understanding what it's like, Luna. Nobody cares about you. That, that is true and hurt. That is as true as it is hurtful. <laughs> so what happened to you guys in vain? Oh. <laughs> no one's sleeping until I get every unsavory detail. What Even a, after that, no one's sleeping. What a coincidence. No one's sleeping at all. That's exactly what they said in vain. Yeah. It happened like this. Picture it, 1921. I can just imagine the sound effects that I'm going to use for that cutaway. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> especially with that, sorry, I know we haven't done it, but like, especially with that facial expression, I just feel like Alex just has like no display of emotion. He's like, so it went like this. Actually, I'm imagining it like, so it went like this, and then pauses, but now Alex doesn't actually say anything. And that's pretty much uh, I all I have to say about that. Oh man, I imagined it. I imagined it very differently. What I imagined was, um, so it went like this, mm -hmm. and then like random sound effects, and that's pretty much how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> I just, and that's I, I just, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And it's like, you didn't actually say anything. You just stared at me for like two seconds. Is is that wrong? Uh, I've been doing that, that with every girl I've talked to. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Don't you have? Don't you have anything else to say? Dot 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 dot. dot, dot, dot. Oh, Alex. So everyone at the shrine was enchanted by the spell. We don't know that there was a spell. Was I supposed to go back and talk to the shrine? They'll be they'll be like, oh man, my head. That was totally a mind control spell by Facia. I don't. So this one I figured out as a kid. I was like, oh, they must have been under the spell based on the dialogue. But it could have been that I was just talking to some new people. I think you might have noticed something that I. Is this the first word of a spell used at the shrine? Hmm. We didn't go back to the shrine though. I guess you you must be right. I can't recall any NPC, NPCs that say it, but I figured it out, so there must have been one that said it. I guess I'm, we must have had to go back to the shrine after the events in vain for some reason. And, like, maybe ask about Facia. But, like, that seems like a crucial plot detail to have, like, you have to go digging for. Anyway. Yeah, I would say I'll, I'll count that as a pretty serious flaw, actually. Yeah, yeah. How embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, again, like, so here's how it happened. Doesn't say anything. And that's all I have to say about that. And she's like, so it was a spell. It's like, <laughs> I made no mention of a spell. This is news to me. <laughs> you're lucky you skipped out of school that day, you fucking klutz. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Nah. <laughs> I'm funny. I'm just gonna... Actually, Jessica, I think Jessica's probably my favorite side character in this game. I'm just gonna... I, I just like saying that. And her, your voice for her is just spot on perfect. <laughs> Galen's a great magician, but he can't be expected to do this all by himself. Alex, I think you could talk to Quark too and find out what you can from him. I mean, you've talked to him before. I'm not by myself. I have the power of magic! Any, anyway, I'm just looking at this wall. I'm just staring directly into this wall. I can summon whatever look, look I want. Look at this wall. This wall's awesome. It's I awesome. made a really sexy mushroom monster for Vane. I can do it again. <laughs> that, that was that was my work. <laughs> anyway, it's time for bed. Good night, you guys. See you in the morning. Let's all get into bed. All uh, in the morning. Locks wait, the door. Wait, yes. Did she just? 
Isn't this her room? It is, but she's letting she's letting guests stay here. <laughs> Have you never done that? Have you <laughs> ever been a considerate <laughs> fuck? <laughs> She's just like, okay, use my room. I'm like, oh well. I knew we. <laughs> What's the matter? Do, do do you not show your hospitality? Are you trying to value shaming? <laughs> like, I'm gonna go to bed, and she just leaves town. <laughs> Picks up some mentals. Yeah, on the yeah. Oh, I can totally imagine that. I knew we'd be returning home, Alex, but not with Galen as our escort. I guess our adventure is coming to an end. As our escort, you say? Oh. Well, I mean, he is a vain kind of escort. Uh -huh. See, again, now, now that we're like, Alex can't speak for himself, she's like, I guess you could say that our adventure's coming to an end. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> I, if only I could say things. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. I wish I could say that, but I can't speak. You're, you're slowly turning Alex into a master of deadpan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, am I pooped. <laughs> good night, Noel. And good night, Alex. Let's all sleep in the same bed. And they did. <laughs> Every day the same dream. What? Oh, that's a new face in this cutscene. Is it? Who I could it possibly be? Before. Screaming with white face and long white hair with pointy elf ears. No idea. Probably some sort of hero. Lamia? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Alex slept on the ground. It's a There's a bed right there in the other room. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't sleep well. Where did Jessica this... sleep? Eh. Floor. <laughs> just cut, cut to her. I, I'm more like imagining like she just hooks, like walks to a random guy. It's like, let's go home together. <laughs> and just sleeps with him in his bed and wakes up. It's like, don't tell my dad. But do tell my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm really mad at him yeah. right now. I actually always imagine her sleeping in the fountain downstairs for some reason. I'm always just like, it's a really, it's probably like a warm fountain that's just meant to be impressive, but I can only imagine her being like, I need to go to sleep. Splash. Splash. <laughs> Good morning, Luna. What's wrong? You look like you're about to faint. I had the dream again. Oh, I oh, you. that, oh. oh. I murder everyone. That's all it is, Luna. Just a dream. You're not actually gonna murder all of us, right? Right? His portrait actually looks especially like nervous, right? You know, Luna, no. Luna, why aren't you answering, Luna? Uh, at this point, y you're not gonna kill us, right? Uh, at this point, I'd like to thank um, the Handles Jam for doing the fan artwork of uh, of Luna that's showing right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I I know, but the urge gosh. to kill too strong. I can't. I can't stop it anymore. You. You're right, Alex. Let's just let's just bid farewell to Master Mel. <laughs> and the next day, hey. <laughs> hey, Alex, did you sleep well? I sure did. Why is he telling? I always sleep well. Well, I figure you know you have a girl and a cat with yeah, you. Yeah. That's like that's how I was born. Yeah. <laughs> Galian's probably waiting for you at the harbor. Wait, Better wait. not keep him. That's how he was born. A three-way between two, a girl, a guy, and a cat. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> works for, makes sense to me <laughs> took you that long to catch that <laughs> please get care of yourselves and come back soon i'll pray to the guys to keep you all safe and since i stood since i started at the shrine my prayers get first priority tiki that's totally not a lie someone give this girl an oh fuck you ah <laughs> uh, god damn it stop with the pop culture whoever did the pop culture references in the game just take them out I mean, the that, japanese translation is better because of that. that that i mean honestly that's not uncommon for jrpgs being localized i know but it actually like uh, to quote He'll slit his mama's throat for a nickel. Uh, son of a submariner. Uh, wait. Do I look like a waiter? <laughs> um, okay. Those are all FF6 FF Woolsey-isms, uh, for those who don't know. Look, yes, that's true. There's gonna be a couple spoken lines that you're going to want to strangle. Gonna the oh, you're gonna want to strangle the... Actually, some of them are coming up pretty soon. Oh, boy. Uh, the harbor's to the, harbor's to the right. Oh, the right. only thing you have to do is go to Galien and talk to him. Um, oh, you're, you're low on funds, so I'm going to take a slight detour when we get back to safe. Um, Here we go. But aside from that, oh, uh, Brett's not in the ship. Uh, not in the ship. Brett's not in the gambling hall. I told you that already. Yep. But um, he's back in safe, so I say we pay him a visit when we get there. Okay. And just, gamble? Yep. Uh, just go to the right as far as you can. It's been so long since we've been here. Oh, I, so I don't talk to that guy, the, the sailor to the left. I, I can't remember if his dialogue actually was this. Hey. 
Okay. Hey guys, see the man in the purple getup over there? He's Master Galeon of the Four Heroes. I haven't been this excited since the first time I got my dinghy wet. That was the line. That's... I was like, what? <laughs> That's a euphemism. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. That one took me by surprise. I'm like, why are you talking about sex in this game? I think this is the first time I realized they're directly talking about sex. Yeah. And that, that fucking sailor was the one who did it. Good morning. I trust you slept then well. He's fulfilling his role very well. Like, uh, who doesn't learn sex from a sailor? Hello, sailor. <laughs> hey. Hey, I have been hanging out with the sailors sailor. all night. Yeah. I trust you slept as well as I did. Which mm. is not at all. Are you ready to sail? Uh, obviously the faster way, way is to say not quite yet. Uh, exactly. Mm. Then let us not waste another moment. To bur I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I don't actually care. Yeah. <gasps> to Berg. I'm sorry, I'm the, the leader of the known world, more or less. More or less. Who, I'm the leader of the known world, more or less, who just answered to this lady who walked up. Hey, you, you, you get out. <laughs> what am I right? <laughs> so tell me, what drives you to become the Dragon Master? What leads you to attempt what so many others before you have tried and failed to achieve? Well... A well is meant for drowning yourself. A good sight! Uh -huh. Alex noises. I'm learning. I want to protect the people of our world. And the people I care for. <laughs> How, um... Very tr noble of you. <laughs> A very cliché of you. <laughs> but the Dragon Master's power is meant for much more than mere protection. In fact, we don't even like to mention the word protection in vain. In vain, no. And the magnitude of his responsibility to wield that power well is immeasurable. Literally, a power well for drowning people. May I ask another question of you, boy? Nope. Hold on. Uh, of course, sir. No, you say? Uh, well, I'm going to ask it anyways. I don't actually care about your opinion. If you had the chance, if you had to choose between the survival of the one you cared about the most or the lives of everyone in our world, which would you be? One or many? Love or duty? That's such a silly question. I don't see that happening ever. Duty or booty? You must decide. <laughs> I'm sure this will never happen in this game. Never. This won't come up. I don't need to answer this question. It's completely irrelevant. I Why do you mention that? <laughs> how could how could anyone make that choice? How could that choice ever come up? Yeah, it never never comes up. A dragon master is forced to make such choices. Every day of his existence, that's, his particular. <laughs> that that that's my job. Is every, every every day, Dine would be. I would walk up and be like, "Hello, Dine. Which of your loved ones must die today?" And Dine would be like, "Err." He'd be, he'd be like, "You zombie. Because he's zombie. He's dead. Because he became the dragon. He died when he became the dragon master. But then I, he'd be really upset when I then killed one of his loved ones oh, every I, day. I actually, I, I'm starting to get it. You're doing the dot 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 thing because you're pretending to be a zombie. Mm -hmm. You're doing like the girl thing. Yeah. You need to die first, kid. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you. But we're getting uh, considerably ahead of ourselves, aren't we? Just like you pretend to be a zombie while you're still alive. It's just cute. You're not even Dragon Master yet. You're not even close. Think about my question during your travels, boy. While I kill your loved ones. <laughs> the closer you are to becoming a Dragon Master, the more important it is to answer. But I'm sure it won't come up. But you won't find the answer with the powers of a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. By the way, Luna... You're Alex's loved one, right? Are you ready to be sacrificed when he becomes Dragon Master? Totally random question. <laughs> totally random question. Un unrelated. So renowned is your singing voice that word of your abilities spread all the way to vain. Not, not Alex's music, though. That's crap. <laughs> Yeah, we we get it. You, you, got, you like Ocarina you, of Time. You, you gotta ditch him and go solo, is what I'm saying. You gotta you, do a solo project. Like we get it. You're, you're like you're like you're like Lennon and Ringo. And what all I have to say is, you could totally go full Ringo mm -hmm. on. <laughs> when we reach back, I would desire nothing more than to hear you. I don't. I don't think my voice is um, that special, sir. But I, I'd be honored to. Sing for you, Master Galleon. What did you just I don't call think, me? I, I don't think my voice is that special. I mean, it restored the memories of a powerful wizard, but you know, 
Everyone can do that. And apparently it's impossible because there's no magic yeah. healing aside from my yeah. voice. Yeah. Uh, and, and, except for the Athena priestesses. Yeah. yeah, so totally. That's who who totally channeled normal. the power of the goddess's voice, funny yeah. enough. Yeah, I have no idea what so... Yeah, this, I don't see a connection. Yeah, not, not a connection at all. <laughs> I look forward to it, Luna. And there's no need to be modest about your talent. You have a gift. You could share it with the world. Like magic! <laughs> magic. Look, Alex, over there. On the edge of the horizon. Ah! <laughs> ah, splash. It's safe! So, again, the boats should be moving forward. Magic! <laughs> <laughs> but he's like looking to the right, like, there it is! It's ah, like, yes. A very indirect route, or like, like looping around. Certainly, the most useful spell is parallel parking. Yeah. <laughs> The, sh the ship's just sailing sideways. <laughs> That's why the ocean's flowing that direction. It's actually moving to the left. Wow, things were a lot harder before magic came along, yeah. wasn't it, boys? <laughs> magic. It's so good to be back home. Berg's your home. My home is where I lay my, lay my head. Lands on Galen. <laughs> well, um... What a... Quaint... Little, uh... Hovel this is. You look tired, boy, but as they say, no rest for the wicked. I'm totally not evil. So carry me as I sleep. <laughs> Take me to the cave of the white dragon. I'm anxious to catch up with him. Not ominous at all. So we have to take a slight detour um, with this speed run and uh, talk to that guy right there with the white beard. White beard? White beard, right there. Hey! I was looking for you, kids. Thanks to you, I closed the deal and made a fortune. Here's a little something as thanks for your heroism. Alright, now we made up for all the money we lost. Yeah. If I need your help again, I promise I'll make it, uh, I'll make it even more worth your while. So he had a, he had a trade deal that he wanted to get on the ship, but, yeah, uh, so you, you stopped it from going south. And speaking of going south, we'll, uh, go to you down south next time. That, that was that, awkward. That, that worked way better in my head. Really? It worked there? Wrong head, but yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.